What's up Jules? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Jewel Ivy and I make videos on fashion, sewing, and self-care. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this really dope jacket. It's lined with this really soft satin fabric and the outside is this really colorful checkered print faux fur. It's a little challenging to work with faux fur, but this pattern that I made and the way I sewed it is really beginner friendly. So if you can get past the part of like working with faux fur, this will be really easy for you to sew. Um, I didn't add pockets to this. I wanted to keep it as simple and beginner friendly as possible so that it's more accessible to more people. One big tip that I have for you guys if you are sewing with faux fur is to definitely wear a mask while you are sewing and cutting the fabric because as I was sewing I forgot to put on my mask for the majority of the sewing and the fibers get into your nose and they get into your mouth and your throat and you can actually feel it as you're like drinking anything and just swallowing you feel like the fur fibers in your throat like it's so awful so definitely wear a mask if you are sewing faux fur but yeah without further ado let's get right into the tutorial we'll start off by making a pattern take a sweater that best fits you and place it face down spread out on your tracing paper and trace all around the sweater and mark a notch on the center top and center bottom of your sweater when you're finished, remove your sweater and correct all of your lines with a ruler and connect the top and bottom marks that we made to create an even center for your pattern. Once that's done, add a half of an inch seam allowance along all of the edges except for the center because we're going to place that on the fold. And that is my center back piece completed. Now I'm going to trace along that same piece to create my front and I'm dropping the neckline two inches and connecting that to my shoulder seam. Then I'll go over all of my lines in Sharpie and that is my finished front piece. For my sleeve, I have my tracing paper folded in half and I'm going to place the top of my sleeve along that fold and I'll go over along all of the edges in the cuff. I'll go over all of those lines with my Sharpie and add a half inch seam allowance along all of the sides and that is my completed sleeve piece. Because my jacket didn't come with a hood, I just made one from scratch off of measurements and I'll link the tutorial for that below. I place my hood on a fold so that it is one large piece and doesn't have that center seam. Now let's cut our outer layer of fabric. I start with my faux fur face down and I cut out two of my front pieces. Since my center back piece is placed on the fold, I trace one side of the pattern and flip it over and trace that again and I cut around all of my markings, making small cuts through the back end of the fabric, making sure to not cut the faux fur. In total, I cut my back piece, my two front pieces, two sleeves, and two hoods. To sew your outer layer, take your back piece and your two front pieces and pin them along the shoulder seams and sew them at a half of an inch with a long straight stitch. This is what that should look like once you are done. I also went ahead and trimmed off the excess seam allowance to about a fourth of an inch. And I attached my sleeve and sewed my side seam together. And now I'm going to repeat those steps to the other side. Lay your front and back piece open on the shoulder seam and mark the center of your sleeve and place that on the shoulder seam. And you're going to pin it along that edge and sew it at a half of an inch. This is what it should look like once you're done. Now I'm going to trim off the excess seam allowance and also trim off the little hairs at the top so the seam is extra clean, just like this. Now I'm going to fold that side in half along the shoulder seam and pin it in place and sew it at a half of an inch all along the side up into the sleeve. This is what your outer layer should look like so far. Now we have to attach the hood. 
Take your two hood pieces and fold them right sides together and you're going to begin sewing at that very very top corner and work your way down to your half of an inch seam allowance. This is what your two pieces should look like once you are done. Now you're going to take them and open them up and place them right sides together making sure to match your top center point and pin along that edge and sew at a half of an inch. This is what that will look like once you are done. Don't forget to trim your seam allowance and now turn your hood to the right side and serge this bottom edge. This is what that will look like once you're done. Now it's time to attach our hood onto our main piece. Take your top edge and mark the center and then you're going to line up the center of your hood with that center point so the hood is distributed evenly along the top edge. And make sure to pin your hood a half of an inch away from the center front to leave room to sew our lining. Now you could sew along that edge at a fourth of an inch, not a half inch. Now your outer layer is complete and we can move on to the lining. I'm using a nice medium weight stretch satin fabric. Make sure that whatever stretch percentage your outer layer has, it matches up with the lining. And you're going to cut two sleeves, two fronts, and a back piece. I assemble my lining the same way I did my outer layer, but I leave about six inches on one of the side seams open to make room to pull everything through once I sew it all together. Now take your outer layer and lay it face down and tuck in both of your sleeves and your hood. And then take your lining and face that right sides down and tuck in the sleeves on that as well. And you're going to pin it along all of the four edges and sew it at a half inch all the way around. This is what that should look like once you're all done. Now you're going to pull everything through that little hole that we left and pull it all to the right sides, making sure to tuck the sleeves in. We're almost finished. Now all we have to do is finish off the end of our sleeves. Pull out some of the lining from your sleeve and place it together, wrong sides together, and pin at two points opposite of each other and it should look something like this. Now take your hand through that little hole opening and pull that through and this is what you should have. Now you can place right sides together with your fur and lining and pin all the way around in a circle. And once you finish pinning, it should look something like this. Now you'll just go in and sew that at a half of an inch on your sewing machine. Here's what that will look like once you're all done. Now you can put your arm through your sleeve and pull it to the right side and this is what the end of your sleeve should look like. We're almost done, now we just have to close up this gap on our lining and I chose to hand stitch mine but you can sew yours with your sewing machine if you'd prefer. Alright Jules, that is the end of this sewing tutorial. Thank you guys for staying to the end. If you did, now I'm gonna try on the jacket for you guys. I'm so excited. It's gonna look a little weird with this shirt, but what if? Here's the inside. It's so cute. Here's the back. All right, let me try it on. It's super like heavyweight. This jacket is so sick, dude. This is how it looks with the hood. This is sick, bro. I can't wait to wear it out. Ooh, it's so cozy and warm, and the inside is just so sleek and nice. Oh, I love it so much. This is so sick, dude. I need to figure out a fit to wear with it. All right, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.